Who are we talking to on Talk to Tom? They tell me your name is Kim from Winter Park. Hey, Kim, can you hear me? This is Tom Sorrells. Yes, I can. Hi, Kim. What's going on in Winter Park today? I know you're getting soaked, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. And my question was, is both of my bedrooms in my house are next to a window where our beds are. I was wondering how safe we were. Should we go into a room that does not have a window? Uh, you know, if you have a room that doesn't have a window, that's where I'd bunker in for the night, straight up. I really and truly would. Now, I can't promise you you're going to end up with tornado warnings for Winter Park, but look at all this rain that's coming down. Where do you live in Winter Park? you live close to Loma Ave or Goldenrod or what part? We're off Paul Branch Road in 436. Oh, so you're, you're way out east here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So in that zone, wind speeds are going to ratchet up. Right now, you're not doing so badly with the wind. Everything has picked up the tempo a little bit as the day has been wearing on. But our wind speeds right now, you know, you can handle that. That's not a big deal. If this is the way it we're going to stay through the night tonight, I'd say stay in your normal bed and do fine. But what's going to happen as the night wears on is that you're going to end up with this big mess down south that's starting to march its way on up, coming into the metro of Kissimmee, from Kissimmee to Orlando. And look at these winds. See how bright this starts to get? Everything's going the other way. Can you watch it right there? Boom, 38. Boom, 47. These winds are a law. 40 mile per hour wind there. Some of these are coming to the surface. And if we get any rotation at all with these winds, we get any tornadic activity at all out of these feeder bands, all of a sudden you'd be by a window. And that's the last place you want to be when you're dead asleep. And all of a sudden things start popping. You might hear things start hitting your house like tink, 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 tink with the wind picking them up, picking up the projectiles and hitting your house. So if you have that interior room, have at it if you can move into it. That's what I would do. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. Sure. Hey, thank you for calling. We appreciate you playing along with Talk to Tom. If you have any questions. Well, Y'all keep up the good work and stay safe. Thank you so much. We are, you know, people say that to us in here all the time. Kim, I got to tell you, I think we're safer here than anywhere else we go. This is, yeah. this place is, you know, we're on the bottom floor of a cement, brico block type building. I think it's impenetrable. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm delusional, but I feel pretty safe in here. Don't you feel Don't safe? Don't in God's hands. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kim. Thank you very much. It's yeah. wonderful to talk to you. Anybody else got to talk to Tom question, fire it up. It's right there, 888-436-6665. We started doing this back in 2004 before there was social media. If you want to hit us up online, you can text Candace. You can write us on Facebook. You can do whatever you want to do to get to us. But if you want to talk to Tom and fire your question away tonight, we'd love to hear from you.